ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई जस्ट वॉट वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस स्पेल दैट इज स्मार्ट प्लांट इलेक्ट्रिकल नाउ डेज वी आर कॉलिंग इट एस एस ई एल स्मार्ट इलेक्ट्रिकल ओके सो दिस वन इज एन इंटरग्राफ टूल एंड विच वी हैव डिफरेंट इंटरग्राफ टूल्स लाइक एस पी आई एस पी थ्री डी स्मार्ट प्लांट पी एन आई डी एस पी पी आई डी वी कॉल इट सो दीज ऑल आर इंटरलिंग विथ ईच अदर विथ स्मार्ट प्लांट फाउंडेशन so smart okay. plant is giving us a same platform to work on it so this you have worked on spi so i'll be explaining you the spell part that is smart plant electrical this smart plant electrical is used by electrical people who are working on single line diagrams cable schedules load list and other deliverables so this is basically once you have the single line diagram you will have to enter each and every equipment in this smart plant electrical i'll be telling you how to use it and uh, what are the different properties and what are the different windows in spell i will be explaining one by one okay so as you can see my okay. screen as you can able to yeah, see I, my I screen. See. yeah ma'am yeah. okay so in smart plant instrumentation as well you have these many windows so i'll be explaining one by one first of all if you can see there is window option over here if you go to new there are four windows that is electrical index electrical engineer reference data explorer reference electrical engineer so these are the four windows in uh, by which we have to work on spell okay so first of all i would like to tell you about the deliverables what are the different deliverables we used to work on spell so cable schedules single line so first i will tell you the report parts that is cable schedule all the deliverables that we extract or that we prepare it in excel so the uh, those are cable schedules load list equipment list mcc schedules different schedules we can extract it from spell also the drawing part also we can extract it from spell that is single line diagrams schematics wiring diagrams or uh, cable block diagrams and so so these are the deliverables which we can extract from spell but before extracting anything from spell we just need to uh, input everything in spell so this is the introduction class i'll be taking so i am just explaining what it is spell so like if you see there is a window that is electrical index if you can see from here that is electrical index as the name suggests electrical index mean to say each and every equipment like being an electrical engineer or a designer we know what are the different main major equipments of electrical that are transformer diesel generators panels different switchboards are there uh, different motors should be there different lighting panels ups cables cable should be power cable control cable and any more than that so all the equipments should we have to create it in index as the name suggests it is an index so all the equipment should be there in the index but uh, once we prepare any of any document right we we used to give the gist of the context contents what we are having in this document so similarly each and every equipment should be there in the index so we create everything in an in index electrical index if you can see electrical index these are the different tabs over here we'll go in brief once one by one when we proceed with the classes so this is a tree structure if you can see inside that electrical equipments you have motors static electrical equipment miscellaneous electrical equipments power distribution board in converting equipments if you see battery chargers transformer ups there are different folders inside it in which we have to create the equipments okay similarly only creating an equipment is not sufficient so we just need to give the properties of each and every equipment so if, like for uh, for motors we need to give its rating uh, the frequency value the power factor and the efficiency everything 
the the every equipment needs to have its property so we have to fill its property in the property window if you can see there is a window called a property window so each and every equipment should have a property that needs to be filled in this property window okay and then okay. i'll be explaining the electrical engineer part that is that is a tree structure so you are working right now if you have seen the sld's in sld what we do we give the power flow diagram so in the power flow diagram the connection is from transformer transformer to the switch gear then the cable will be there cable to the load we just need to give the connections just to as we show in the single line diagram we need to connect each and every equipment over here okay so the connection part each connection part should be there in the electrical engineer front if you see like see this this is a bus bus is switch board okay then we have different outgoing feeders over here so these are the connection part that we we are having it in electrical engineer so we are creating equipments in electrical index we are connecting it in electrical engineer and we are giving properties of each and every equipment in the property window if you see there is a transformer created and if you see in the property window there are so many properties over here uh that we need to give it like here you can say see full load current the frequency value the frame size or each and every property that a motor or a transformer and any equipment will have to be there it should be there in the properties and you need to fill it according to the deliverables you want to extract it okay so these are the three windows that are the major one and then the most important window is the reference data explorer if you can see it this reference data explorer it is also having a tree structure with different folders so if you can see and open any of the equipments now you see there are some of the motors that are there so we use this reference data explorer as a, a as a reference like if you are having multiple motors with the same rating with the same property so what you can do you just need to go over here and you just need to create one motor and by using that motor you can create multiple motors with the same ratings so it will actually take less time so reference data explorer is very helpful if you have to create a bulk of the equipments okay um, reference so, data explorer mean that is a uh, only standard equipments right standard equipments yeah all the equipment so if you can see motors like if you have a siemens catalog suppose one some vendor catalog is there so what you can do you just need to give all the details of that motors that you are going to use it so that are the standards and from one motor you can create uh, 10 motors or 15 motors like that so these are the reference motors you just need to create a reference motor just to make the life easy just to make to utilize your time going and creating each an individual motor it will be difficult or difficult no it will take time so just these are the shortcuts so by using reference data explorer you can shortcut the time as well and shortcut the work that you are doing it so these are the four windows that i just need to explain it and apart from it we are having different topics that uh, for how to create the deliverables and uh, how to extract the deliverables and the user level definitely is mandatory for any of the employee to have an idea for the spell that how to use spell so user basic knowledge is very much mandatory to work on spell so first of all creating what are the different use of the windows i have told you and how to make each and every equipment uh, easily and in bulk and how to apply the profile there are so many options if you see there are typical circuits there are profiles 
just a second there are profiles look up tables typical blocks so all these items i will be explaining in the in the user level program because this profile will make your life and you will make uh, the best thing in spell is the profile values so just if you if you can see uh, i am just giving one example like uh, in a cable schedule for a single motor you will be having uh, something three or four cables should be there right there will be a control station there will be a rtds will be there there are for one equipment we have different other equipments associated so individually creating it individually connecting it will be will take time like but by creating one profile you will do this in one minute or so so these are the different uh, because in some of the project uh, people demands like you have to complete this spell part within two days or three days but only just to know how to use spell will take at least uh, two weeks for a simple work work to be done but if you know the knowledge how to use it how to use efficiently uh, spell then it you can do your work in two days so it is very beneficial for you also like uh, if any of the person is uh, searching for a person who can do the job in less time you will be there if you know the tricks how to use it so this is the thing that i wanted to tell you right now so if you have any basic questions